Kaboom! There we go. Good morning, Double R Old School Internet Radio. Here we are Tuesday morning, 10.02, part of the mañana, playing right now. New kids on the block. Step one, and then step two, and then step three, and then, you know, <laughs> I don't get it, man. New kids on the block are one of those bands that I don't get it, but oh well, let's go live. There we go, new kids in the block. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Step one. And then step two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get over it already. These guys, man. Come on, they're trying to be men new, though. Right? Anyways, good morning. Here we are, Tuesday morning, 10.03, part of the mañana. 73 degrees happening right now in San Antonio. You know, I got to tell you all something here, man. Let me get back over here. I think we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good over there. And I think we're good right over here. And I forgot to do this. So put my little background thingy going. And there we go. I got the little background thingy going. Give me a little bit of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hey, what the hell is that? Okay. Uh, give, giving my, 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 my little video some atmosphere that's right hey man if you're on facebook right now stop by and say hello i'm live right now you know i gotta tell you good morning shout out to dallas texas and la casa dana contreras good morning amiga i gotta tell you man as much as i dog whataburger i'm always dogging them right i'm like pinche whataburger right i'm always dogging them right either the fries are cold or the meats are cold or the cheese is cold and it's always something with whataburger right there's too much of a long line to get a freaking hamburger but i gotta tell y'all man yesterday i stopped by whataburger around six o'clock in the afternoon i went up to the counter and said hey dude it's there let me have that double meat order of fries and that soda would you like cheese with that did i ask you for cheese no sir well then i don't want cheese if i wanted cheese i would have asked you for cheese right Hey, Gavron, well, <laughs> right, you're probably going, man, Robert, what's your problem? I don't know. I, I was I was kind of in a bad mood, but I feel better after that. Good morning, shout out, good night, the Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas, who is still trying to get over the hangover of the Mets losing. Pobrecita, I get it, man. Her team won 190 games, and they lost to a team that only won 70 games. <laughs> How does that happen? Right? How does that happen? I guess we can uh, change the Mets. The, instead of calling them the Mets, we can call them the SpongeBobs. There we go. The New York SpongeBobs. Only good on is I'll hit that ball. There we go. We'll see what happens. Anyways, good morning, Chad. I got up to Mi Carnal from Alamosa, Colorado. He said, Leroy Lujan. He said, good morning, Carnal. 24 dig Man, I love y'all guys' weather, man. People tell me, Robert, if you love cold weather so much, why don't you move to Colorado? Um, I wouldn't mind visiting, but... My home is my home, man. San Anto, here I am. So there you go. So it's all good. It really, really is. Anyways, um, no, but really, man, I had a double meat, no cheese, fries in the soda for $10 and change from Whataburger, and it was excellent. It was a very, very, very good burger, man. Enjoyed it. Uh, that means I'll start going back to Whataburger. Maybe in about a couple of weeks, I'll stop by again. Heck, man, I'm talking about the hamburger. I'm making myself hungry. That's what I'm doing. Anyways, um, you know, there's nothing worse in the world than going to a gasoline station. I and let, me tell you, let me tell you where I'm going with this. Yesterday, I needed to gas up. And what I do, I got this mentality to where... As soon as my, my, my gasoline tank gets to a quarter or a half, I fill it up. That way, I don't feel it as much, right? Well, anyways, I went to my neighborhood, Valero, over here, where it said the gasoline was 309. I said, okay, 309, eh, what are you going to do? So I pull in there, right, and I you know put my credit card in there, and I'm looking at the price. It wasn't 309. It was 319 on the pump. But on the sign, it was 309. I said, hey, man, well, which one is it? Right? And I said, man, I don't got time to argue. I don't want to argue, man. I'm <laughs> I'm a nice guy. I don't want to argue. I don't want to squabble over 10 cents. Don't want to do it. But I got to tell you, man, I was a little bothered when I was putting that gas in. You know, somebody even came and told me, hey, are you okay, dude? And I go, why do you ask? He goes, because you're cussing up a storm while you're putting in gas. Well, because if you look at the price, it says 309 on the sign, but on the pump is 319. They're sticking it to me. 
Hey, I didn't realize that. Let me go tell him something. But it was too late. I guessed up and got out of Dodge. But still, man, that's kind of, that's cabron right there, man. When you see gasoline, the sign 309, but at the pump is 319. Somebody's got a scam going on. Good morning, shout out. Good night to Double R Radio Sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas, in La Casa. Go Astros! I know she's an Astro fan. Um... I got to tell you, man, I uh, <laughs> a couple of days ago, this I'm going to give you all a couple of quick Uber stories. A good one, well, a funny one, kind of funny, and then a serious one. A couple of days ago, I picked up this lady downtown, right, and I was taking her back to her hotel somewhere in back of the airport. And uh, I told the lady, so have you visited any restaurants here in San Antonio? She goes, yeah, me and my sister, we went here, we went there. But last night, we went to this one restaurant and she tells me, and I had the chile relleno, and it was a little spicy. She goes, and in the morning, I had issues. <laughs> I told her, what do you mean you had issues? And I look at her through my rearview mirror, and she goes, you know, issues. And I go, oh, I got you. I got you. Okay, uh, those kind of issues. Uh, she goes, they kept me inside my hotel room all day kind of issues. I said, oh, okay, I got you, I got you. You had issues where you probably needed tissues, right? <laughs> I've never had a woman come out and, you know, put it in that form. I've got issues. Okay, yeah. I've always thought women have issues, but we're not going to go there right now. Good morning, shout out. Going out to Mr. Leroy Lujan. Yeah, let me Windows, yes, he said price, price gouging prices. Leroy, I'm telling you, dude, that, that's got you right to see the sign, 309. Pull in there, getting ready to gas up. But the pump says 319. I haven't said so many cuss words since Disco died. Really, man, I was like, what the hell? But... Eh, I said, what the hell, man, and, you know, get on with life. Good morning, Jedi. Good night to fellow DJ, Mr. Keith Leal. He said, good morning, Robert. Always good to stop in and check out your show. I appreciate it, Cardinal. I really, really do. Keep up the good work, man, on those interviews. Really, man, doing some good stuff out there. Now, um, on the serious side, yesterday doing the Uber thing, it was around 5.30, 6 o'clock. I picked up somebody at Best Buy, right? And check this out, man. This is part of the it's not so easy kind of a thing. I pick up this dude at Best Buy, right? He sits in the back seat. He brings in a bag with him, right? And I have a dash cam on my car. And uh, the first thing he tells me, nobody told me you got a dash cam. And I go, well, it should be on the app. He goes, yeah, but nobody told me. And I go, is there a problem? He goes, no, it's just that I feel my privacy is being invaded. No problem. Let me pull over to the side. I'll clock you out. It won't charge you a dime. Get another driver. He goes, no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying my privacy is being invaded. No problem. Let's not invade your privacy. I'll pull over. I'll clock you out and get somebody else. And he tells me, I didn't know that I wasn't able to voice my opinion. I said, you can voice your opinion all you want. But I can voice my opinion as well. And my opinion is, I don't want to take you anywhere anymore. So I pulled over, clocked him out, and then he called me a couple of words. I don't know what he called me. There were compound words. You know those compound words where they put two bad words together? Kind of gives it the one-two punch. It's one thing to be called one word. I get it. But when you call two words at one time a compound word, I mean, but I kept it together. You know, I, I kept my cool. He got off, slammed the door, threw me the finger, and was, have a great day. And that was that all because he had a problem with my dash cam. What an idiot. That's there to protect not only me, but him. He didn't see it that way. Oh, well, good morning. Shout out good night to my primo, Roger Rivas, direct from Hawaii. Man, this primo went to Hawaii. Check this out. Primo goes to Hawaii 